everybody and welcome to Corey Turner Talks Cars. And are you ready to see the biggest car phone ever? Okay, our phone car. <laughs> okay, well hold in there because I was just kind of surfing as I normally do social media and I came across this crazy video and I was like, we gotta, we gotta take a look at it together because <laughs> it's the biggest phone car You'll, you've ever seen, probably the biggest one in the world. So I thought we're gonna watch this together uh, and, and check this out and, and check out this crazy thing. So let's take a look at it right here. You ready? All right, here we go. This is it, okay, let's play. Okay, so it's one of the most unique cars you'll see on the road anywhere is what it says. Red desk telephone. It, it's always a double take when people see it. Okay, some of you may not know this is actually a, a telephone. <laughs> This is what phones look like. I think they still kind of look like that, as opposed to just the, our, our phones we take around with us. But this guy built a large red uh, phone. Let's back up a little bit. Let's take a look at it. A drivable <laughs> red desk telephone. <laughs> it, it's always a double take when people see it. Well, I don't know. All right, so this guy's name is Howard Davis. He's with, is it Detail Communications, it looks like? I had a feeling he probably had something to do with the phones. All right, let's, he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Let's check that out. When people see it. <laughs> Bought an old car and uh, stripped it down to the wheels. And started okay, building. okay, hold on. So he bought an old car, stripped it down to the wheels. Um, any guesses? I, I'm i going to say, let's go back a little bit. Uh, uh, I keep going too far forward. Uh... I'm gonna have to go Volkswagen, don't you think? I mean, it's gotta be a bug, right? I mean, what other car would you be able to strip down and do that on? So let's, all right, my boat's bug, what do you think? It's always a double take when people see it. Bought an old car and uh, stripped it down to the wheels and started building uh, a telephone from the ground up. Ground up, okay. It, uh, it endured as one of the 10 most unique cars in the world. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It endured as one of, what? It endured as one of the most unique, 10 most unique cars in the world, is that what you just said? Man, how you can't, how do you, this sucks. Double take when people see it. Okay. Bought an old car and uh, stripped it. Sorry, I mean to stop going. This is from WLWT, I don't, that's a, a it, NBC it, affiliate. It is one of the 10 most unique cars on the 10 most unique cars in the world. Is there like a list somewhere? I want to, we got to find that. Okay, I'll do that. I got to go check that out and see. We got to figure that out. I've been okay. collecting phones since I was nine years old. And oh, uh, never stopped. It's built on a 1975 Volkswagen Beetle. Aha! Volkswagen Beetle right there. Of course, okay, when I paused it, it says this old VW Beetle. So I probably should have figured that out. Should have taken that bet. Um, okay, so it's a 1975 Volkswagen Beetle. We figured that out. Wow, look at all the wood and stuff. Look at the number pads on the windshield. How do you see out? The reactions are great because people, when they see it driving down the street, recognize the object as being a telephone. And then the double take is, my goodness, it's flying. <laughs> check, out, check out the toy phones hanging from the rearview mirror. Okay, I love that. That's awesome. Okay, that is cool. The wood dash is kind of crazy. That's great. Look at the... Look at the portal window, but look at the gap in the door to the outside. So yeah, that's okay. Probably not very safe. <laughs> but, uh, that's it hilarious. Signals, it has all the, all the safety oh, features. okay. <laughs> I don't know that it has all the safety features of a modern car, but okay, that's okay. It says you can do everything a regular car would, except when you blow the horn. Everything that a regular car would have, except that when you uh, blow the horn, it rings. It doesn't beat the rings. <laughs> do we hear the horn? That's awesome. I can see that. You put like a, on the holidays, you put like a big Santa hat on the top. So it'd be like the phone to call Santa. That would actually be pretty good. He's taking it across country several times? It really is a lot of fun. When you take it out, it's just nothing but smiles and laughs and waves. I do enjoy it very much. People used to have very unique cars back in the 50s and early 60s. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with that. I think we've talked about that in the past. That in the 50s and 60s, even even the 70s, so sort of cars were a little bit different. You could get some crazy wild colors and all of that, and then and then they have kind of gotten mundane. And I realize uh, that, that it's hard to, I guess, make them look. Wow, look at his collection of phones. Sorry, I got distracted. Squirrel, look at all the phones he's got back there. He does he does collect phones. That's awesome. So I agree with him. Cars have kind of gotten mundane. They're all kind of plain and the same. So, so. to be able to drive around. Giant telephone is a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, 
Oh, I would totally drive that car around and now I want one. Uh, you know me, I like unique, special, crazy cars. So that is super cool. I guess that actually came out two years ago. So we gotta go check on it and see if that car's still out there. I wanna find this like 10 most unique cars list. We gotta check that out. That's pretty cool. But anyway, have you, have you seen that one before? Have you seen the driving phone? Uh, the drivable desk telephone, I think that's pretty cool. So what'd you think about that? If you found a crazy car, put it in the comments, give me a link or send me a link. You can email that. Just go to uh, CoreyTurnerTalks.com and just message through me through there or any of my social, the social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. Leave me a message in the comments here. I'd love to check it out. That is super cool. Remember to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're growing every day. We're getting closer to 1,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, so leave me a comment. Let's talk about cars tomorrow.